ministry of prayer with understanding is one of the master keys that opens closed doors especially doors that satan is directly behind it causing a resistance i have learned this in my life i have learned this in ministry the challenge is that many believers are not given to strategic intentional continual prayer is the reason why we stand before closed doors for so long for many years and it seems as though god is powerless concerning such situations when you truly know how to hold on to the four horns of the altar and to pray the bible leaves us with an assurance that even ancient doors can be lifted do you know something there are times that your prayer becomes so powerful the door is not open it is broken why is it broken so your children will not have to pay that price again if i only open the door sometimes i may pass but what happens to my child psalm 24 verse 7 if you're a christian i'd like you to shout this scripture one two three lift up your heads uh -huh. hold on hold on the king of glory wants to pass but he does not want to pass alone so he didn't say doors open he says doors be lifted get out of the way so that as i come out i now become the first begotten let many be able to come doors can be open but doors can be broken he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder hear me look up please you only need a key to a door that has a padlock and has a space for key but there are certain doors that do not have a space for keys at that point you don't need a key you need the force to break it have you seen them seal an entrance when the doors require keys you can pray and God can give you the wisdom the keys the principles to engage and the doors open but there are times you stand before doors and there is no provision to slot a key there is no padlock there is just a mask of resistance at that point you do not need keys you need to pray this prayer lift up your hands when they got to jericho the bible says the fence of jericho was so fortified they didn't need jericho to open they needed to shut it down and flatten it and with one loud blast i understand you have praise sessions you have prophetic sessions by this night and your praise night maximize those moments because as you lift up your voice in praise and in worship i tell you there are doors that will crumble before you Jericho was an altar. What sort of a place is that that nothing goes in and nothing comes out? There is nobody who builds a house without a place for passage. But Jericho was short. Nothing goes in, nothing goes out. This morning we have come here. As I wrap up my session with you, there are doors that need to open there are doors that need to be broken in any case all doors must open are we together how many doors how many doors i hope you know when it was time for the nation of israel to leave egypt when the heat was getting hot pharaoh started negotiating he said okay this is what will happen who allowed the men to go but the children stay behind and moses said no way if i am leaving 
my children will also follow it says as for me and my house so your prayer this morning is not just for you alone while we are praying let your children be there let your family be there some of you you are the first genuine christian in your family at that point you don't just need an open door there are doors you are going to smash to pieces this morning and make up your mind hear me there are families where you will never eat until you become a slave you can travel abroad for decades you return back and your future looks like yesterday he makes his ministers his angels spirits and his ministers flames it was a great man of god who said no matter how mad a man is he does not enter fire by mistake no he's not that mad so three things will happen this morning as we pray number one we're going to take our time to engage in serious prophetic prayers prayers over doors some of you doors of admission have refused to open are we together some of you doors of children doors of breakthrough all kinds of doors doors of finances doors of spiritual advancement up today down tomorrow no passion no fire i desire to come to you once and again some of you have businesses the door is open physically but spiritually the door is closed can i tell you this you can be in a city but in the realm of the spirit you are outside that city because the riches and the blessings of that city is it not in your bible it says blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord a city can reject a man you are there but nothing is answering to you you buy a land it becomes a source of trouble you send your child to school every trouble is there just when you want to drive out in the morning you, you get into a trouble all kinds of things there are doors that can open is someone tired of his current level listen if you are not tired of where you are there's no this meeting is not for you but there are people here even spiritually you are saying lord i'm tired i know you have called me there is an unction upon my life there is a grace you have sent me and you gave me a commission over this city i'm tired of this level of anointing you have called me to walk in the healing anointing and yet nobody is getting healed through my life you have called me to be a prophet and every prophetic word i give looks like a lie you have called me to be a kingdom financier and yet no door is opening you have called me to be a mother that bets generals and yet barrenness is eating me up can you open your mouth and begin to pray in the spirit in one minute are you praying Shaba name of Jesus I decree I declare by the blood of the Lamb every power standing the way to my advancement caused 
by ancestry, bloodline, foundations. I come against you in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice and pray. I come against you. I come against you. Every resistance. Every power in partnership with humans in partnership with systems and structures to frustrate the purposes of God over my life over my advancement the Lord rebuke you the Lord rebuke you the Lord rebuke you